Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one it is time to talk about it. and I think you know what we're going to be talking about. We have got to go over everything that is going on with the cube, the floating island, some of the teasers for like Fort Nightmares and how all of this connects. We're going to be talking about all of that. Now specifically we're going to be going over a bunch of clues including ones that are pretty hidden like this hidden sound that you can actually hear and then of course like a bunch of theories of what it all means together and I will say that it could possibly mean that the visitor might be returning in some way and again how fort nightmares might be involved just a ton of awesome stuff that we're going to be going over in today's video but yeah guys if you are hyped for this crazy stuff that has been going on with the floating island with the cube be sure to hit that like button down below on top of that since we're talking about stuff to do with the cube which was in season five and season six which skin do you think is the best ragnarok or dire they're two completely different skins so i think this could be an interesting question so leave your thoughts down below in the comments but yeah guys without further ado here let's jump on into it with the first clue I want to talk about and this is sort of like going over everything that happened in like the last two days so much stuff happened in the last two days that if you missed some of it the rest of it kind of doesn't really make sense so real quick let's go over some of that stuff and how it might be involved in the overall theory of everything going on and I think we're going to start like when the mini island started to move obviously before that we knew that the cube island floating island whatever you want to call it started moving around and activating the different corrupted zones and then a couple of days ago it finally reached the center and that is when all of the interesting stuff started to happen. So the first of those things was that the mini islands went into the center of the map and more specifically they went into the center and met up with the big main cube island again whatever you want to call it and that's our first clue about some interesting stuff happening because like why exactly would all of these islands suddenly move out of where the corrupted zones were move towards the center of the map like what is the point of that? Well I'm not 100% sure about that it is a little bit weird when you look at it it's like why exactly did the cube need to go around and charge them up and then move them towards it but I think that's exactly what it is it was charging up and for some reason it had to put them around the map but all of those mini islands charged up the floating island the cube itself because if you remember that's when it started to glow like a ton brighter and all of the stuff together and that kind of leads us into our second clue which was that all of the stuff now is like fully charged on the island if you remember before even like the cube formations that were growing on the island and like inside of the house inside of the cave way back before they were this dark color and they were just you know some regular looking cubes however if you take a look at them now clearly they are a ton different they are like supercharged as charged as I really think they could be and that's definitely important that signifies that it's about ready to do whatever it is going to do and we'll be talking about that a little bit more in just a sec here but like again also with that the cube itself is glowing a ton in and out a little bit but stuff is going to be happening with this that is for sure oh and real quick I almost forgot there's also the fact that the mini islands dropped to the ground which is another thing that signifies that they were charging up the center island the cube itself and then once it like transferred all the power to the main island they dropped to the ground so yes it's charging up for something big now the next part of that is the rift that appeared in the sky now this leads to some very very interesting things but yeah this appeared on the 21st October 21st and I guess it's not like 100% a rift but it's this giant like electric looking beam that goes into the sky and the fact that it ends like midway into the sky just you know it reminds you of a rift so that's more than likely what this is referencing and also it's very similar to the rift or whatever you want to call it that appeared when the cube showed up now unfortunately I do not have a picture or a video of that but if you remember when the lightning was striking that cactus area it looked very similar to this or at least like the lightning looked very similar so we may be seeing like an actual rift forming soon and if that is the case or if it's already happening in game then for sure it's fairly likely that the cube is going to be teleporting away or something like that we'll circle back to that in a little bit here and speaking of circling back to it we'll also have to go over this special sound that you hear when looking at the uh, lightning bolt or whatever you want to call the thing in the sky and it is super interesting we'll talk about that in a bit here but first of all we have to go over something else to sort of build up to that now these specific things that I want to talk about right here are first of all the new Fort Nightmares teasers that have been going around so you may have seen the one that we talked about already in the previous video but they've put up some more and that was the one with like the zombie looking guy with the cowboy hat if you haven't seen that video be sure to check it out it's on the channel but they've put up a couple of more images like on the 21st they put up a super interesting image which is a picture of a cube and it's a cube that we have never ever seen before like this doesn't look like anything that is in game currently I guess it kind of looks like a shadow stone but it's not really a shadow stone this one's all like bumpy and stuff like that whereas the shadow stones are generally more smooth like let's take a look at one right here I mean there 
there are some cracks like at the corners and stuff, but overall it is more smooth than the one in the promotional picture for Fort Nightmares. And on top of that, it also has one giant symbol on one face of the cube, whereas the shadow stones have like four on each side. So it's definitely different. Maybe it's a different version of the shadow stone. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm leaning towards it being something else entirely. And also take a look at how bright it is. And we haven't even talked about like the chains around it and stuff like that. But yeah, it's glowing super bright, which seems, you know, sort of reminiscent to the cube glowing that bright pink and the island itself glowing that bright pink as well. So it's charged up, ready to do some stuff. And what's also really interesting with that is that this symbol right here is one of the symbols that was laid down as a rune on one of the moving islands. As you can see here, it is pretty much the same symbol. I guess like the one on the promotional image is sort of missing like a slight piece of the line in the bottom left. But I mean, for the most part, I think it's safe to say that these are the same. I mean, 90% plus of it is the same, which is very interesting. So does this rune have some connection with this promotional image? Does it have some connection with the shadow stones? Are the shadow stones even going to stay around after the island gets done? Not 100% sure about that quite yet, but it is very interesting. Now moving on to the next promotional image, and then we also got to talk about like the sayings that come with these pictures that Epic Games has put out. But either way, let's go over the next image just in case you haven't seen it because it is pretty interesting. It has to do with a new weapon coming to Fortnite. So even if it doesn't have to do with the cube, you know, this is news that we have to cover. I mean, look at this picture. It is the revolver coming back possibly in a different way. And again, this seems to be the same skin from the first image that was shown. Obviously, he's like a cowboy or something like that. A zombie looking cowboy. We talked about that more in the uh, previous video. So again, it has to be a new weapon coming into the game, but they for sure wouldn't show this image if it wasn't something important and was just like an emote or something you could buy in the item shop. But yeah, either way, it gets even cooler when you take a look at the descriptions of these pictures. So let's go back to the first picture and its description because that leads into the second picture a little bit, but it says tombstones quake. Keep your fingers steady. The circle will close. Better be ready. Now this one may not really mean anything and we're not going to spend too much time theorizing about the stuff that doesn't really relate to the cube but the only thing that could possibly relate to the cube is the part that says the circle will close which to me obviously means like the circle in game but maybe it's referencing the storm and something like that maybe they're related in some way maybe the cube will affect how the storm reacts something like that i'm not 100 sure but hey this is all about theories now then for the second image the thing that is most important is that it says the wind calls out fill your chambers fast which the fill your chambers fast means the you know new revolver that is coming into the game but the wind calls out is super interesting because where have we seen a ton of wind around the cube island that is right guys so that would make sense that they're definitely related in some way and if we had the cube image again maybe fort nightmares is connected to this and that when the cube is done doing whatever it's going to do it teleports in some dark fort nightmares type things and i guess that does lead me to my next point but if we go back to the beginning of season six do you remember the saying that came with the uh, season. Like, for example, in season five, it was Worlds Collide. That was the saying. But season six, the slogan or phrase was Darkness Rises. And at first, we just thought that would only have to do with the cube and the cube island. But now, all of a sudden, with these connections to Fort Nightmares and the cube, could Darkness Rises have something to do with Fort Nightmares? Obviously, the skin that has been teased for the event looks pretty scary in that way. And on top of that, Rises usually has to do with, like, zombies rising up out of the ground. And they also talked about tombstones and stuff. So maybe all of that is connected and like the chains around the cube is something to do with this new skin. Maybe he's the crypt keeper or something like that. But yeah, guys, moving on to the other thing I want to talk about here. This is by far the biggest clue of the video. So prepare yourselves, but it does have to do with the uh, lightning thing. But there's also this like big portal type looking thing up there. And even if for some reason it's not there in game when you're watching this, I still think this clue will help you understand the overall story. But with this portal, as you guys might know, it does the same exact thing as like the comet did a long time ago where if you look at it and specifically if you look at it in theater it's easier to hear but yeah you can hear a specific sound and also thanks to sheena br on twitter and bravado 15 on reddit for pointing out that the rift or portal actually makes a sound and it's not just like sounds from the cube or something like that or like sounds that you're hearing that aren't from the portal because if you go into theater mode and do this yourself and also show you a little example here coming up but if you're looking at the island you know you hear the wind the cube sound effects a little bit but as soon as you take a look up at this portal all of those sounds quiet down and you instead hear the sounds coming from the portal itself so again i'll play a little video example for you guys so you can hear it yourselves but first of all let me explain like what you can kind of hear within this portal because that is the super important thing so first of all you do hear some like random sounds also in the video that i'm going to show you you can hear like an airdrop 
getting deployed onto the map. Ignore that part. But instead, try to focus on this one sound that sounds like Darth Vader breathing. That's a good example of it. It sounds like somebody breathing through something that helps them to breathe. So let me play the video right here and try to listen specifically for it. But yeah, guys, did you hear that? Now, what does that sound like? To me, it kind of sounds like the visitor. If you guys remember, the visitor isn't from our planet. I mean, the guy showed up in the middle of a giant meteor. <laughs> That's how he showed up. So it would make sense that he can't breathe our air. On top of that, if you take a look at the visitor in his design, his back bling, he's of course wearing a helmet, which would help him to breathe, I guess. But instead, he also has all of this stuff that seems to be something to help him breathe. Like he's got a two running from his chest plate to his back also his back bling specifically has this pipe on the side of it that definitely could be something to help him breathe and there's even like a fan inside of it that you can see when you're running so that could definitely be what we're hearing from this portal on top of that does that mean that the visitor is coming back it definitely could i mean that's a pretty bold theory but it would make sense the visitor left through a rift in the sky with his rocket maybe he is coming back to the map and is going to change some things by arriving through the portal also if you remember we talked about the people that were investigating the meteor at the very start of season four i believe they've apparently been the ones behind the bunker that showed up at the beginning of season six so if there's connections there there definitely could be a connection with the visitor so yes the visitor could be coming back the cube island could be disappearing maybe adding some darkness rises type stuff to the map changing some things around that's why it's charging up or maybe it has something to do with fort nightmares if you guys have any extra ideas leave them down below in the comments but that is going to be it for today's video so if you guys enjoyed it be sure to hit that subscribe button down below or check out some of my previous videos up on the screen now such as on the left going through all of the info we know of fort nightmares so far lots more stuff than in this video and then on the right another awesome one i'm sure you'll enjoy but other than that but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one